you have any lifts that you're stuck at, you've plateaued, you have no idea what you need to do. We've been experimenting with a specific rep scheme here at Garage Strength with all of our elite athletes to help them bust through their plateaus. We're gonna dive deep into this rep scheme and why it works, and we're gonna start right now. To understand how to trick your body into gaining a massive amount of strength, we've gotta dive into some of the theoretical side behind strength gains. Neurologically, what tends to happen is that if we're lifting weights, if we have a bar on our back, or if we're doing a snatch or a bench press, our body will recognize that mechanical tension or that mechanical overload, okay? Then that's going to lead to greater, higher threshold motor unit recruitment. This can also, in turn, lead to greater intramuscular and intermuscular coordination, okay? So neurologically, we know if there's a load, our body senses that load, and it gets to a heightened state of awareness to help improve our strength. We can also gain strength through hypertrophic means, and this is typically going to be around myofibrillar hypertrophy. This will occur through the mechanism of mechanical tension, of mechanical overload. This also might happen to a point with muscular damage and with metabolic stress. Either way, either one of these mechanisms will lead to that myofibrillar hypertrophy, which in turn will help us increase our maximal strength. So the main goal that we're trying to achieve when we're using this rep scheme is put more weight on the bar than ever before. That's really what the main purpose here is. And even if we look at what exercises can we use, we can use a back squat, a back squat rack right here. We can use this for bench press. We can use this for deadlifts. But I believe it even works best with technical coordination movements. So with a clean, even to a point with a snatch or jerks off the boxes. It's absolutely phenomenal. And it's gonna fall under the umbrella of the rest pause rep schemes, okay? I like to differentiate rep schemes along the lines of waves, of crazy potentiation, of crazy drop sets, and then rest pause. Rest pause is a type of drop set to a point. This rep scheme is gonna be a combination of the rest pause and a combination of drop sets. And some of that information and science that we've seen from Bill Kramer where drop sets can really lead to greater potentiation. That's where we're gonna be living for most of this video. And we love using crazy rep schemes for most of our elite level athletes and a lot of our general fitness clients. Just like those crazy rep schemes that you guys are using inside of our brand new app, Peak Strength. All right, enough of the theory. Now we're gonna go into the practical application on how we use this here at Garage Strength with our athletes that might be stuck with specific PRs and how you can use it today if you wanna to go to the gym. So we're gonna start with picking a major compound movement. Okay, so we're gonna pick the bench press. So establishing that ramping scheme. Now I'm at 315. Okay, so this is gonna be a perfect example of what this will look like. I'm gonna hit this for a single, all right? Take this off, whoa. Ideally, if we're using something like a bench press, right? We're gonna have partners with us. Now, I'm gonna take that 315. After I hit that single, I'm potentiated, I feel really good. Put on 275, and now I'm gonna hit this for a set of three to four, okay? So we have that drop number already pre-established, okay? So for us, it's 275. Ideally, what's gonna happen now is each set, I'm gonna ramp up with that heavy single. So I was at 315, I'll go 335. Next set, 350. But I'm always gonna drop back to around 70 to 75% for the three to four reps. Okay, so now I'm getting close to that peak. So right in here, I'm around 355, 350, okay? So I'm gonna come back, hit this for a single. Drop that back down. Again, ideally with a bench press, you would have a partner here that's gonna help you do this so you can move quickly. It's really easy when you're doing it on the squat or on a deadlift or even on technical coordination movements. But so I'm gonna rest for about 20 to 30 seconds. My body's awake. I'm potentiated from that 350. Feel pretty good. I'm gonna hit this for another set of three to four. So this is called the intensity intra drop set, okay? So what we're looking for, work up to those heavy singles. Be explosive. Think about that mind-muscle connection. Cut that weight down then, and you're gonna trick your body into getting more volume 
after it's been potentiated in a very, very short period of time. So the exercise that you can use this with would be bench press, back squat, front squat, deadlifts, all absolute strength movements, but it's also absolutely phenomenal with technical coordination exercises. The main thing we're looking for is potentiating that nervous system and then getting more volume with that heightened state of your CNS. And one of the key factors is that when you're using a bench, a squat, or a dead, I recommend those drop reps be unbroken. So that forces a little bit better mind-muscle connection and a little bit better precision on the actual rep execution. And if you wanna hammer more strength knowledge, make sure that you like, you subscribe, you ring that notification bell, and you even comment down below to join the movement to become a freak. We're working towards a million subscribers, baby. Okay, so enough of this theory. When did we practically use this? When did we actually use this in practicality? And typically what I like to do with a lot of my experiments and when I have these thoughts, okay, I'll take this thought and I'll turn it into an experiment, I'll lay it out, and I might take an athlete that's a little bit less risky to use on, okay? So then we can see if there's some type of positive response. If there's a neutral or positive response, then I'm gonna try it with my elite level athletes. With this instance, okay, with this concept, it's like, it's gotta work, it has to work. I'm gonna use it with Haley Reichert, senior national champion, two-time senior Pan Am champ. And what we wanted to look for was, I wanted to convince her body that it was getting a lot of volume at a really, really heavy weight. But we were doing this as though it was sort of like fake intensity, or even to a point, fake volume. So the thing that we were looking for is laying out that specific example. So now I'm gonna give you the exact example of what we did with Haley in a specific training session. So with Haley's case, we're gonna set up that light weight, okay? The light weight that we're gonna drop down to will be 80 kilos. We started the entire workout by working up and we're gonna ramp and we're gonna hit a single at 100 kilos. So she hits a heavy single at 100 kilos on the clean, we take off 20 kilos, and then she would hit a triple at 80 kilos, okay? She'd hit three cleans, one jerk. Now the next set, we'd go 104 kilos, hit that single, drop back down to 80, okay? Hit that three cleans, one jerk. So she's getting four reps every single set. One of those reps is at a very high intensity, three of those reps are lighter. Okay, then we would go 108, 108 kilos, smacks it, drops down to 80 kilos. Then we get to 110 kilos. She hits 110, smacks it. We drop down to 80 kilos. She hits three cleans, one jerk. And then we even go to 112 kilos where she cleans it and she decided that when she cleaned 112 kilos that she was actually gonna hit that jerk right off of 112. So she ended up clean and jerking 112 kilos. But in essence, this sparked this huge response and she also got a lot of volume done. I think what happens is a lot of the stuff that we talked about with the nervous system, okay? Her muscle spindles are sent to the Mars, just like the Golgi tendon organ, okay? So they're, they're aware of all this crazy load, that's the mechanical tension, okay? And then that leads to this myofibrillar hypertrophy and an increase in coordination. And those drop reps at 80 kilos at that lower percentage makes for the precision to be even better with the technique. So that leads to better coordination. And along those lines, it also leads to a spark and an increase in her hormones. So ideally there would be a little bit more of a boost in her testosterone and that could lead to better muscular response or better muscle protein synthesis. And then finally on the back end, we're even gonna see with a lifter, it can be really challenging to drop to a really light weight and then jump back really, really heavy. But that's what ends up happening is that when you take, let's say 104 kilos, and then you hit 80 kilos, and then you come back and hit 108 kilos, it actually trains a weightlifter to deal with those crazy, crazy loads. So that's another factor that we didn't even think about that ends up being a payback on the back end. Concepts like these are really complex and they take about six to eight months to see to play out. Are they effective? Are they working to the degree that we want? And this is just like training. So when you head over to peakstrength.app and you pick up our brand new app, make sure you're in there for six, to eight months grinding so that you can see the best amount of your gains. So for theoretical application that we can bring home to you, if you don't do weightlifting movements, we're gonna use the deadlift. Okay, so theoretically now, we're actually gonna use this for an absolute strength lift. So now, let's say I'm ramping up and I, my max is 220 kilos. I'm at 200 kilos right now. This is how that ramping set would look. I take 200 kilos, okay. I get good speed on it, again, Ideally, when you're doing things with that absolute strength movement, you would have a partner with you, okay? So I hit 200 kilos, come over here, take this off. Now I take 170, boom, boom, boom. 
real fast, okay? So I have that high level of potentiation and I get some more volume down at a lighter load. All right, so when we're using absolute strength movements, what I like to think about is going over four to six sets. If you're hitting it over four to six sets, it makes it a little bit more effective. So I have my predetermined drop set. Okay, I'm gonna pull up, I'm gonna hit this. This is my last set out of six, right? I'm going here, I'm gonna rip the bar in half. Intent is to rip the bar in half. And if you have that on that heavy load, when you drop down during the intraset drop, you're going to absolutely crush it. So I'm here. Okay, so I come over. I unload this. Now remember, my body thinks I've got 220 kilos on the bar. So my body is remembering that heavier weight. My body is thinking, all right, we have to prepare. All of our muscles have to prepare to handle this load. So now with 170 on, I can get in. I can get that extra volume. Again, it's sort of like that fake volume You're here. And the intent has to be to rip the bar in half. So your frequency around this type of training should be technical coordination movements like cleans, snatches, jerks. You can do twice a week. If I'm doing absolute strength movements like this, like a deadlift or a big back squat, legs you could do once a week, upper body on the bench press, you could probably do it another time. So you could probably do it twice a week, but on varying body parts. What we all want is a specific type of adaptation. We're sick of being stuck and we want to break through that plateau. That's why we've had such great success with lifters like Haley Reichert as she's preparing for her first senior world championship. So take this rep scheme home with you today. Go to the gym, try it out, see how you adapt and do this consistently over three to five weeks. I also recommend heading over to peakstrength.app. You can pick up our brand new app, Peak Strength, where you're gonna get seven free days of training and you can put in your goals, you can establish Establish that peak date so that we can help you accomplish all of your sports performance and general fitness goals. Because remember, freaks, if you want to become a champion, you've always got to cultivate your power. Peace.